people have the worst customer service in the motherfucking world. And you can say that you don't agree with that because I'm going to fuck why. And we get our customer service better. We'll make more business. Bottom line. So you can say whatever you want. When you go to the Chinese restaurant, they nice to you. They, hey, Ray, how you doing today? No, they just as mean. Hey, so I don't go to the fucking saying. Chinese restaurant. All right, but you know what I'm saying, Ray. Like, I don't stop. go. We can yell. You're I'm yelling. Don't make Ray. your point. I'm speaking more for Ray. Ray. At the end of the day, Asians don't sit there and say, hey, your customer service has to be perfect. Your product has to be A1 before I support you. They support you. So, Other on, races Tamir, support Tamir. you. So Sue, Sue in the West there from American Deli, is a, she's a very customer service driven individual. She she understands. Shout out to the, the one Asian. Oh my God! Sue moved to, Sue moved to the West End. Sue moved to the West End, and Sue started selling wings. And now you can take a selfie with Sue. You can have a good time. With and Sue. Sue only plays Gucci, like music. She does. Like so, oh, that makes sense why he's defending Sue. She's That's playing it. to her audience. She's playing it. <laughs> she understands her audience. So y'all gonna go to black people restaurants because you can take selfies. Nah, so, and so 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 no. until, Gucci. hold on. So when you talk about black customer service, I had this conversation the other day with one of our artists. She was like, "My nail tech moved from Atlanta." I was like, "I got another one for you." She asked me, she was like, she black? I was like, yeah. She's like, no, nah, I don't want to go to her. She probably don't do feet. And she probably going to charge me an arm and leg. And I was like, the fuck? She's like, every black male te- tech she went to in Atlanta are like, I'm not going to touch your feet. They charge you an extra uh, res- a reservation fee. Mm-hmm. And then they give you shitty service when you get there. And I was like, damn, that's fucked up. We can't even have. Bro, I spent, bro, I spend half a million dollars a year on bullshit, bro. And I love spending money. And the reason why I don't spend with black establishments like that, because they got fucked up attitudes. They don't give you a smile. Then they say, hello, how you doing, man? I take your order. But I'm supposed to keep spending with them because they look like me? Fuck that. The rich are going to, the, the rich are, the people that are going to rise to the top, the people that understand what it takes to win. Not the people that feel like, you should let me win because they let them win. That's not how you win. It's I am in the service business. I am successful. Six, 16 years later, you, I love Tehran. I love Tehran. Guess why you love Tehran? Because Tehran understands when I walk in this bitch, I'm a service. Yeah. You don't look at this bitch and walk in here like I'm the biggest songwriter in the world. Y'all all need to bow down to me. That's why we yeah. rich. And my thing is a black man that has made millions of dollars and want to see other black people make millions mm-hmm. of dollars. I know the one thing that's a difference is the fucking attitude. That's why I yell. Because the attitude is the difference. And if you fix your attitude, everything else will follow. But you think, well, they ain't got to fix their attitude. Well, we ain't them. We ain't them. Because if we was them, we would be where they are. We are us. And the thing that's holding us back is we don't treat each other with respect. I'm a service. So, so hold on, to- stop, stop. So I'm trying to teach you how to get to a certain place, and you don't want to accept that you got to change your motherfucking attitude if you do. And instead of change your attitude, yeah. you want to bring up what Asians do. I don't know if the motherfucker is smiling by the way they're talking. I don't know their culture. I know our culture, and I know our culture. Black women have bad attitudes, and so do a lot of black people.